Hey everybody, this is the second of the Novus tracks that we're going to review here on the musical tour of the Spiral. I am your host, Nelson Everhart, composer for most of the tunes in Wizard 101 and Pirate 101. There are also some very talented composers at King's Isle who do some of the more interstitial stuff, but most of the world tracks you'll hear playing are mine. This piece we're going to look at right now is called Canadis combat and and the design doc from ki says that the majority of the zones in novus will have very strong ties to specific existing zones of wizard 101 and pirate 101 so they can borrow from those existing worlds those are the remix tracks that i did which is about half of the new tracks in novus they're described in the story as shards of novus that hover in place thanks to convenient rips and folds in space time over existing worlds of the spiral however canadas is completely new it's the neutral zone as it were the central hub where all the various spiral powers that are settling the various shards of Novus come for talks and negotiations. So there's two versions of this track. The initial version is is still being formed. Uh, and actually the lead sound designer for King's Al named Mark Packard, who I work with all the time, a great composer. He wrote the unformed version. And then I wrote the version that goes with the, the world when it's more formed. So very surreal place, perhaps little teases of various world cultures, Valencia, Marley Bowen, Polaris, and Monquista. So I'll play the track through and then we'll come back and talk about it. like this uh, huge bell sound that I found. Those bells are from a metal percussion library called Kinetic Metal that comes with Complete by Native Instruments. And it doesn't always mix well into the stuff that I do, but I was looking for a big, epic, galactic bell, just nice low tone that's, you know, reverberating through the universe. And playing that patch really low gave me that sound. With each new world that comes out, we do more combat tracks. And this world was no exception where every part of the world had the regular theme and then has a combat version of that theme. Obviously with combat, the heavy percussion stuff works really well. Uh, this library called Damage from Heaviosity. is amazing uh all all the loops that are in there i do use the loops from that library and there are also kits that you can use in, in ensembles i usually like to have control of the loops when i've written something particular in my head but if i'm starting off with like i know i need some heavy percussion and i'm going to use this library i'll put the loops down and then try and write something over the top of it 
that complements it really well. This analog strings library uh, by output. The unusual part about it is that you hit the key and then you have to wait. So when I found that patch, I really liked it, but that meant that everything had to kind of speak after that. So it's not on the downbeat, it's speaking more on the beat three. One, two, zoom. So everything else I was doing was kind of taking that into consideration. And then I had the brass kind of doing those low brams, that nice, low, huge, alien, galactic battle horns. You can hear those analog strings kind of answering after. I like that it was sort of offsetting. It was an answer to the downbeat. Doom, drum, doom, drum theme. And that kind of grew out, I think, into this theme. Strings string in here. I think those high string octaves just bring out the epic nature of the music. In watching some of the playthroughs on YouTube, a lot of times that's the first time I get to see all of this stuff together. <laughs> Cause I, I basically finish my contract. I send KI all of the music and then like three days later, it's out on test realm. So it's a really quick feedback loop. And this world, everything's epic, right? It's, it's out in space and you have this epic landscape, the signs hands and the eye and the lava lamps floating upwards and, and everything just felt so appropriately epic. So when it goes to like a, a cinematic or when it plays the dialogue, a lot of times they just turn the level music down and let the dialogue kind of play over top of that. And it's not really synced up because I didn't write the music specifically to go with, you know, the words and the dramatic underpainings of the scene. It's just sort of the background music. But in Novus, when I'm watching the playthroughs, it, it was, you know, a lot of important dialogue was syncing up with the music. Sometimes when the music gets ducked behind dialogue, so you can hear the dialogue, it's, it's important to hear the dialogue. But sometimes when it gets ducked, it kind of sucks the energy out of a scene. It just sort of takes you out of the, the element. But, but everything I've seen so far, the world just really, really sounds nice and balanced. It's kind of weird looking at these sessions and realizing how many new and different libraries I'm using than I normally use in Wizard 101. Cage Strings is a library from 8DO and they're kind of aleatoric effects, which means like non-tonal. It's more just about the texture, creating a, a, a new vibe. All the string players sort of hitting their instrument with the bow, not really worrying about where their, their fingers or hands are, just more trying to get some attack out of it. <laughs> I've always been inspired by sound. So when I get new sounds, it really helps me to write differently than I normally do. And obviously in this world, that's sort of where I was trying to go. Brutality. More new sounds. Uh, this is the Arturia synth bundle. And this is their Prophet 5 emulator. I wasn't around when these were <laughs> really big and now they're really expensive to have the, the hardware version of these. This patch is a kind of a pad just playing the chords here. Over top of the strings. And this is the synth cell that comes with Pro Tools. And I think I discovered it to play around for this level. I'm using this for more of the arpeggios. When I, I had some of the concept art, but there wasn't a lot of it done when I was first starting. I pictured the background of space and the world in its wireframe version. You know, everything's being synthesized and everything's artificial. I do a lot of this trying to 
imagine a picture that helps me translate, you know, what the what the level's going to be into sound. I have a lot of layers playing these chords, don't I? <laughs> The hardest part of doing a lot of this is I'll write through the tune and I'll find myself at a place at the end of it that I didn't necessarily set out for. A lot of times I'm trying to follow the inspiration, make it sound like a nice organic kind of development of the themes. But I get towards the end of the two minutes, which is how long most of the tracks are. And I have to start thinking about how is this going to loop to the beginning of the track again. And so I usually start bringing in some of the sounds that I used at the beginning. Yeah, so it was a very interesting world in that all 12 tunes that I wound up writing for it felt very different than most of the Wizard 101 stuff that I have written thus far, which is good. It's a, it's its own world and, and kind of should create its own vibe. Every time I get to write for Wizard 101 again, I feel like the ante keeps getting upped. You know, we've built such a, a cool game over the last, you know, decade and change. And I feel like the music has grown with the game and explored different areas and different vibes and each time i want to keep it in the in the universe of wizard 101 but not retread what's gone before so it's always a little bit terrifying but i i have a blast doing it and it's because of you guys that i get to keep coming back and doing the stuff so thank you very much uh, all the players i'm really happy that this release is being embraced like it is um, we're going to keep going with the musical tour of the spiral there's only a few more worlds left and i do have a couple of those in the can that are just waiting for editing and those should be out soon as well all right guys thanks again talk to you later bye